police in Wisconsin, they are anticipating the local high school homecoming and Halloween. And so recently they posted some guidelines on Facebook for anybody who's planning to toilet paper a house this year. Okay. Quote, if children are going to toilet paper somebody's property, they should first receive consent from the property owner no. and <laughs> clean up the mess when they're done. Who's going to do that? Why clean the hell up? that? And consent? What? The whole yes, reason I that's the whole point. To be TP'd. Yes. What? You may TP my yeah. house. And How then, dumb. Like, How you're, stupid. You're trying to get toilet paper out of trees. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lighter, yeah. it's fun. It just hangs. <laughs> yeah. And it gets wet. Yep. And then you're, yeah. you're never getting that off. Such a mess. Yep. Yeah, so if you want to TP a house in 2019, now you ask for permission. Ooh, and then you right. clean up afterwards. Oh, that'll happen. Yeah. Did you guys ever do anything like that? Where oh, I love TP houses. houses or Absolutely. egg houses. Yeah. Did both? I did tic tac chased once? We never did anything worse than tic tac. Maybe some eggs. What's tic tac? Yo, what's tic tac? Tic tac. You get you know that that fall corn that's real hard and you mm-hmm. know it's not edible uh-huh. and you just throw it at windows so it makes like a tic tac. Tic tac. Weird. Yeah, never heard of that. Is that, before. Is that even a prank? It's yeah. just that's what we tic-tac. you do when you're really little. We Tic-tac. did that when we were like mm-hmm. eleven. Really? Just That's running so around tic tac Huh. I never <laughs> even heard of that before. Yeah. Uh-uh. I, yeah, it was soaping windows, mm-hmm. um, egging houses, oh, teepeeing egging. houses, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, smashing pumpkins. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Right up to oh, Halloween. Oh, I'm That's never do that. Things like that. Well, I'm, not pre Halloween. No, right after Halloween. Okay. I, I can't say I've never been party to a pumpkin, <laughs> a pumpkin smashing. A pumpkin yeah. destruction. Are you yeah. serious? Not I was cool. a kid. I was, you know. I know. When I was a, I think I was a sophomore. I was we an t- adult. TP'd this one house and the guy who lived there uh, basically caught us mid-TP and chased us. We ran through a park. He chased us for like an hour. It yeah. was like an wow. old dude, too. Oh, wow. And then another time we were egging, I'm not proud of this, <laughs> but it's true. We were egging cars from a moving car. So we would do like drive-by eggings, like the car is at a red light, right right as the light turns green, egg the car, turn the other way. The car car chased us, so we drove through these hills and turned off the headlights like idiots. 16, just got our licenses. I'm going through these dark hills, did basically a high-speed chase, but got away. Rap. Yeah. You guys are some bad kids. Oh my God, terrible. (laughs) my birthday is October 30th, and that was always growing up, that was mischief night. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. It was the night before Halloween. Some people call it Devil's Night. Devil's Night. Mm. Yeah. And it's it's not an everywhere thing. I found over the course of my uh, my adult life here, traveling and moving different places, mm-hmm. that not everybody did that. But it was no. definitely an East Coast, mm-hmm. uh, New York, yeah. New Jersey, yeah, I've never heard of Pennsylvania. It. Yeah. yeah, they have a thing. drunk history episode about it. And that's pretty much what started Halloween of people right. going it, it to kind houses of because they that. wanted to get kids to stop doing that. So yeah. they would dress up in costumes oh, and yeah. try to scare them away. And that was that but that, that was the night that you would go and do all that stuff. And so a lot of people would be like sitting outside in their chairs mm-hmm. just to make sure. Yeah. Did you and, guys ever do a <laughs> thing called when you fork the lawn? Take no. plastic forks and just stab yeah. the lawn. I was a victim oh, of that. Just yeah. tons of that. Yeah. Yeah. That's I would, that would be so yeah. annoyed. A buddy of mine, there was this guy, he was such a prick. He was the he was literally the get off my lawn guy, uh-huh. and we weren't even on his lawn. Like we'd cross from the sidewalk over that little patch, which it technically wasn't mm-hmm. his; it belonged to the township, mm-hmm. right? Mm. And so he would, you know. Yeah. And so every mm-hmm. kid in the neighborhood hated this guy. So my friend and I, and he was out there. I mean, like he and his wife had like little scissors and stuff, and they would go around the landscaping beds and with scissors be oh trimming God. individual uh, blades of grass. They were manicuring. Wow. Stuff, right? Right. So uh, yeah, one night, sounds great. One night my buddy Joe and I just took two big bottles of bleach oh. and we bleached no. F.U. Oh, oh my no. God. Into the grass and then he had one of those old school, not those love sacks, but the old school beanbag chairs that had the little tiny pieces of styrofoam like yeah. little tiny, tiny styrofoam pebbles almost. Right. And we yeah. cut that open and just dragged it across his lawn. Oh, and so no. the parts that didn't die immediately with the bleach got suffocated <laughs> oh, by the styrofoam. Oh wow. And he, wow. Had, and he had to re his... Oh, my, <laughs> oh my gosh. How dare he want to keep things Damn. nice? Straight up vandalism. Damn. Mm-hmm.